I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a Wittick reaction problem. Hey, Dr. Romano, I heard on SDN that you don't really need this reaction for the dad. I'll give you a great rule of thumb. Whatever you hear on SDN, do the opposite and you're in good shape. So come around, the Wittick is a very important reaction. And let's go over it. You're sure to see this on the dad. Um, what are we gonna do? In a Wittig, we're gonna look for an aldehyde or a ketone. And you're gonna treat it with a chemical called an illid. It's got a funny name, an illid. Now, I'm gonna use this symbol, a zero with a slash through it to represent the benzene ring. So don't get scared if you see that. So what we did is we took an illid and we treated it, in this case, with a ketone. And what you're gonna simply do is whatever is attached to the phosphorus, which is all this, gets swapped with the double bond O. And the double bond O, the O from the double bond goes to the P. So when we do the swap, we take off the O, we put on the CH2 group, keep the double bond, and then the byproduct would be just this called triphenylphosphine oxide which we don't really have to worry about. But I'll spell it for you. This is called triphenylphosphine oxide. And that's just gonna be the byproduct, but this is the, this is the chemical we really need. So the bottom line is we've gone from an aldehyde or a ketone into an alkene. Let me just show you how it happens, just so you don't think it's some kind of miracle. In the very first step, the phosphorus illid launches a nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon. And as you can see, watch the arrow movements. This is what's important for the DAT. Not for you to memorize the mechanism, but understand what I'm doing with arrow movements. I got a very good problem and a new issue with the destroyer I want you to look at on this. In the first step, I do my attack and I move this out and that gives me an intermediate called a betaene. In advanced organic chemistry, it's now debatable if this intermediate is even existing. Um, phosphorus NMR studies have shown that there's a little doubt, but I'm gonna stick to the undergraduate tradition and I'm just gonna keep the beta e, the beta e in. But as I said, there's some evidence that this might not exist. But at any rate, you're gonna first get this intermediate and then this intermediate is gonna collapse when the oxygen attacks the phosphorus and makes what's called an oxophosphatane. Once you get this oxophosphatane, this is a weird looking cycling intermediate, it's gonna then form a PO bond. This is a driving force. This is a very stable, strong bond. And as you can see, when this moves to this portion and this moves to this, this gives you the alkene, which is the same as this, and there's my triphenyl phosphine oxide generated. Let me, now that we know how to do the Wittig, let me show you one more type of question that you might see on the deck. So come around on this board and let's have a look together. What I wanna do is I wanna take this molecule, I'm gonna first do a hydroperation on it to get A, and once I get A, I'm gonna hit it with the mild oxidizing agent called PCC, or I could have done a newer reaction called the Swern oxidation using oxalyl chloride. But at any rate, once you get B, and then I want you to look at this, how I'm writing the illet. You might see this two different ways in the deck. If I wrote it like this, this is the illet that you normally, I like to write, but notice you could draw a resonance form of this called the alene. So the bottom line, the bottom line is I can write it this way or this way, and it's the same idea where you're going to add on your C. So in the first reaction, all we did was add on an OH, anti makovnikov that's A. From A to B, I simply oxidize this carbon to get to the aldehyde, and then all I did was put on the carbon moiety, and here is a very clever way how I doubly deuterated a double bond. I hope this helps on a question that I think is very important for the DAC, but this should be one of the key reactions. All right, good day to you. I hope this helps. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.